This portion of Dream Car Garage is brought to you by XV Motorsports, engineering modern supercars from classic muscle cars. We really wanted to have the cars be complete packages, so we can't ignore the interior and the creature comforts of the cars. So we're planning on putting things like power windows, uh, power door locks, power trunk release, heated seats, air conditioning, uh, modern stereos, um, a lot of sound deadening so you can hear the stereo much better than you could in an older car, um, uh, as well as modern instrumentation. One of the fun aspects of this project was integrating new materials but keeping a classic look in the car, as well as going through the body preparation to ensure a flaw-free finish. To update the interior on the XV Motorsport cars, we selected Recaro seats, then had them custom upholstered with fine leather. All the other original plastic surfaces have been covered with a synthetic leather product, which is UV stable, can be cleaned with anything, and will look good for years. The headliner is now suede, the carpet is now Wilton wool, not nylon like the original. So all these surfaces are modern type materials. Underneath, we put in Dynamat, three different types, all to give a sound level so that we could hear and appreciate both the car and the high-end stereo system that's being installed. In keeping with the theme of wanting to have things that look retro, but incorporate modern developments, we wanted to develop a console which would allow us to install high-end stereo head units, including satellite navigation, but look similar to the original console of the day. So we made a fiberglass buck from which we can pull a mold and upholster it, which will look very similar to the original console and allow us to house the new electronics. Gauges to inform the driver, custom XV analog gauges, billet steering wheel, power windows, air conditioning, all the things that you've come to expect in a modern car to make this retro muscle car a lot of fun to drive on a daily basis. The cars are really being built to be driven. I think they'll, they'll be beautiful looking cars, but we really want cars that are going to be driven. So for example, rather than painting the underside of the car's body color, we're painting them black, so you don't have to worry about a little chip or so on. Um, but we, the cars are being fully rotisserie restored, stripped down to the bare metal, and built up from there. When you want a machine like this, you want to make a statement. Not only does it have a superior drivetrain, suspension, and brake system, but it's got a look kick-ass as well. And to that end, we start with southern body shells, strip them down with media blasting, do all the metal work, then we sand for hours to get the body panels perfectly straight, get all the door gaps and trunk fit better than they ever were at the factory, we add things like the TA hood, TA rear spoiler, rear valance with dual exhaust cutouts, things that were really iconic back in the day. All the stainless trim is refurbished because you can't buy a lot of this stuff reproduction for the Mopars. All new tinted glasses installed in all these cars. When we're finished, we put a polyurethane paint job on it, custom colors. This one happens to be a color we call Agent Orange. At the end of the day, what you have is a very outstanding machine that's durable for all types of use. Next week, let's take it to the track and see how it stacks up against modern cars.